Hey, what's going on guys? Cameron here, back with four methods that are gonna lower your ping, give you a better connection in Fortnite. I know I've made a ton of videos about these in the past, but I wanna make one lump sum video that's gonna help everybody who's struggling right now with connection issues, just getting poor connectivity um, and lagging. Nobody likes lagging. So we're gonna be testing out four methods. And the first method, super simple, and it's a method I've been using for years now, and it's using a ping reducing software. So I'm actually gonna show you one that we've used a lot on the channel, but there's other ones. There's like exit lag and like a bunch of other different ones. But this one is called no ping. As you can see, we already are signed in. You can get a free account and test it out, which is beautiful. So you guys don't have to pay any money for it without you know making sure it works 100%. But once you got it downloaded, it's super easy. This is your home screen here. You're gonna select Fortnite. If you don't see it, you can type in Fortnite. And then when you select it, it's gonna give you a ton of uh, server options here. And you can go through the list and find the one with the lowest ping. If you don't see uh, any good options in here, you can go to other servers and then you get hundreds of options in here. So I'm gonna choose the one that's like 20 something ping. Uh, let me find it real quick. Yeah, this one's pretty good. California 01, 26 milliseconds. So we're gonna optimize this game and you'll know it's connected when it shows this game statistics stuff here. Then you just jump into Fortnite and test it out. All right, so we're just gonna test it out in here. As you can see, it's not too bad. I'm getting about 39 ping. And I'll be honest, it doesn't work for everybody. It worked really well on my laptop, but not so well on my desktop. So make sure you test it out first before putting any money on it so you can make sure it's gonna be good for you. And I'm curious what you guys think. Do you guys like the Dragon Ball Z collaboration? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, so jumping into our next tip, we're actually gonna be doing some system optimization, which just means we're gonna go through some of like the network preferences and stuff. And this really does reduce your ping a lot. You can get down about half your ping with just a couple tweaks on your Windows 7, 10, and Windows 11. All right, so let's just hop into it. This is a setting that I discovered on accident. So this is actually a setting that everybody sleeps on or is not aware of it. I guarantee that your buddy's never heard of this if you guys have done any system tweaks. So what you're gonna do is type in delivery, whoops, optimization, advanced settings. You're gonna click on that right here. And it's gonna give you this window right here. And you'll notice all these things here. Don't even worry about any of that, but where it says absolute bandwidth, you're actually gonna to wanna to check this option, percentage of measured bandwidth. Um, so what this is gonna do is limit other devices, other connectivities, and give you 100% um, utilization towards just what you're running, which is Fortnite. So yeah, you're gonna check both these options, bring them all the way down to 5%. You want to do the same thing for upload or limit how much bandwidth and monthly upload limit. Let's go ahead and turn that down to five gigs and this one down to 5%. Uh, this is just going to, again, limit any connection and usage from other devices. So your network with your device is the most optimized. That's why it's delivery optimization settings. So yeah, once you have all that done, you're done. Go ahead and close that out and test out Fortnite. Um, I've seen this drop my ping like 10, 20%. Uh, you've seen that from a previous video where I discovered this by accident. 17, this guy, 14, 12. All right, so we're moving right along to the method number three. And this one also is really simple. I'm gonna wanna type in device manager. You get this guy to pop up. And once you have this window, drop down the option that says network adapters. You see all these options, Realtek PCIe. PCIe GBE family controller. You're gonna click on properties, go over to power management and uncheck all three of these. Once you have done that, you're gonna also click on advanced and you wanna make sure everything is disabled except for flow controller. This needs to be RX and TX enabled. All right guys, for this last method, it's a really good method. This one has dropped my ping considerably over the past few years and it's by blocking high ping Fortnite um, IP addresses. So it sounds really complicated, but if you follow closely, you'll have this done in five minutes. It's super simple. First thing you want to do is click this link. I'll have this link down in the description as well under the no ping link. It's going to show you how to run a trace route uh, connection test, and this will give you some information. So first off, you're going to copy whichever, um, you know, whichever server you play in, if you're NA West, NA East, Europe. So if you're NA West, you're going to copy this entire thing here. 
Uh, same if you're Europe or NA East. And you're just gonna open your terminal or command window, type in CMD, and you'll have command prompts so that'll show up right there. So once you have your command window open, all you do is paste your text. It's gonna look like this. Uh, obviously, you're not gonna see anything else happen when you enter that. But if you look at your desktop now, you'll actually have a new um, a new text file it should show up on your desktop. And when you open this, make sure you don't share your IP addresses with other people. It'll show your uh, milliseconds, your ping on the left hand side. That's the important thing, because what you want to do is you want to block all the ones with high ping. So you'll notice this one here, 46 milliseconds, 38. I'm probably going to block these ones that test high and keep the ones that are 2, 3, 2, 17, 15, 13. Those are all really desirable pings. And by the way, that text file will take about five to 10 minutes to complete. It'll get about 20 IP addresses. So if you don't see 20 lines, keep waiting. It can take about five minutes to get all of your connections tested. And now we're gonna enter some advanced settings. This is where we're gonna block the high ping IP addresses. So click advanced settings. You're gonna get this window to pop up here. So now we're gonna actually do the fun part and block the high ping IP addresses. So you're just gonna click on outbound rules, right click it, click on new rule. You'll get this window to pop up. Click on custom, next. And you'll see these two options, all programs are this program path. Click on that, click browse. And we're gonna find the Fortnite folder. This is where the actual game lies. So I'll show you where to do that. Go to this PC. On whichever hard drive you have Fortnite installed, double click on that. Then you're gonna double click on program files. You're gonna double click on Epic Games, Fortnite. Fortnite game, binaries, Win64, and then lastly, Win64 shipping. So once you have that selected, then you're just gonna click next again. And here it's gonna show any protocols, that is okay, just click next again. And here's where we can actually block these IP addresses. So don't worry about the top option, um, which local IP addresses does this rule apply? We wanna click on which remote IP addresses this applies to and we're going to select these IP addresses, the second bulletin. And now this is where it's just a bunch of copy and pasting from your text file that we ran originally. Um, you're just going to paste in all the higher ping IP addresses. Now you do want to leave at least three to four because you need a few different IP addresses for it to work. I'd recommend at least keeping three or four of them, um, but block all the rest of the higher ping ones. So I'm gonna do that now, and then I'll show you the last steps here. And after you have that done, then you're just gonna select block the connection, next again, and when does this rule apply? You wanna make sure it's all three of these checked, and that's it, then you can just name it. I'm gonna put blocked high ping IP addresses, Fortnite. And then you just click finish. So if you guys ever run into issues with it after you guys have done that, you can always delete it um, and all you have to do is reopen that Windows um, firewall setting, advanced settings and remove the rule and that's if you have any performance or stabilization issues, if you start lagging, having lag spikes, you want to just remove that rule. But otherwise it'll limit the connection and uh, to only the really good ping addresses that give you the smoothest, quickest connection possible to Fortnite. All right, well, that's all the tips for today's video, but I do appreciate y'all for watching. Subscribe and like if you guys are new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out for now.